This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Chicana Copper, Mr. David Kelly. Dave, good morning to you. How are you? I'm doing great, Gerardo. How are you doing? I'm well. I'm well. I'm starting to think you may want to start calling Chicana Copper, Chicana Copper, Gold and silver. Um, if if the the news this morning is any indication, um, you're off to what I think could be a game changing discovery at Paloma West. You just announced a new high grade discovery. The headline number is just fantastic, but there's so much more to it. The headline reads: twenty two point six five meters of two point eight one grams per ton gold, three point eight zero percent copper and 56.2 grams per ton silver. If you want to convert that to gold equivalent, that would be 9.36 grams per ton of gold equivalent, 22.65 meters, and it's shallow from 48 meters. You and I talked a bit off air. We both believe, or I at the very least believe, that the stock has seen some selling pressure from a short. But that aside... Congratulations on the discovery. It's not every day that you can announce results like this. Um, good work. Good work. Well, thanks, Gerardo. Yeah, and, and you know, I again, hats off to the Peru team for, for pulling out this kind of uh, result uh, in, in a pandemic. I'm, I, I couldn't be more proud of those guys. Uh, they seem to do it time and time again. But I mean, these results are really, really significant, right? These are some of the highest grade results we've ever uh, released on the property. They're they're of the same kind of grade uh, profile that we've seen at Breccia One, which has always been our best Breccia pipe in terms of grade. Um, it, it's it's you know it's really stunning to see the the rocks themselves. If you go look at the core photos in the in the press release, they're absolutely stunning and. Um, you know, it's it. All three holes had high grade. You know, so so first three holes in Paloma West come come back with super high grade, and then you know we're just 150 meters from Paloma East, where we were having hundreds of meters starting at surface with really good grades. You know, 0.8 to 1 percent copper equivalent type of grades, with some high grade in there too. And we know we can chase that high grade. We we absolutely think these two breccia systems are linked. So it's a very, very significant result for the project. Let's go over each hole because I think that's important. Um, hole 140 had 80 meters and the widths were really impressive, Dave. 80 meters, a yep. uh, total of 2.27 grams per ton uh, gold equivalent. And, and let's break that mm-hmm. down a bit. That was 0.39 grams per ton gold. That was 30.5 grams per ton silver and 0.97% copper um, from 21 meters. Uh, yeah. Can, can you speak to the zonation of the precious metals versus the copper and, and, and the shallow nature of the mineralization? Well, what's really exciting about this is we're seeing really, really high copper right right below surface, right? And, and you know, it's it says 21 meters, but that's because we're off. Uh, we're, this is a step out hole, so we're, we're we're stepping away from the breccia pipe and drilling back across it. Um, and and you know, so the the mineralization actually starts at surface, and we know the copper gets oxidized um, in the near you know in the top thirty meters or so, and it gets leached out. So we're left with copper or gold and silver. Uh, but yeah, I mean to have such high grade right, essentially right at surface, um, is 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 even more encouraging, especially when you consider the the long runs of mineralization starting at surface at Paloma E. So it's it's very significant. I noticed in hole 141, you had 42.65 meters, and the gold, silver, and copper grades increased. Right now, all of a sudden, gold came in at 1.87 grams per ton gold, silver at 84.5 yeah. grams per ton silver, and copper at 2.15 percent copper. That's extremely high grade. Um, you know, copper equivalent 4.09 percent, gold equivalent 6.26 grams per ton. Again, over 42.65 meters. Right. Yeah, exactly. And that, that hole was uh, the westernmost hole. So, again, you were talking about zoning. That's showing us that, you know, the western side of the breccia is even higher grade than the first hole, which went through the middle of it. And it's kind of a reflection of this theme we've been on for a long time, which is the margins of the breccia pipe can be the richest. And and that hole demonstrates it perfectly. That 
42 meters you mentioned with, you know, 6.2 uh, uh, gold equivalent it has two margin zones, right? Because we started outside the pipe, we hit the breccia, there's a margin zone right there. We go through the middle of the breccia, we go through the outside of the, you know, the other side of the breccia, and there's another margin zone there. So the two margin zones in that hole, uh, the first margin zone was five meters uh, of 8.72 grams per ton gold equivalent. And then 22 meters on the backside with 9.36 grams per ton gold equivalent. So, you know, the, 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 the margin grades are there in this pipe. It's a great feature to have because it really, uh, you know, it really increases the, the grade profile of the breccia pipe. And, you know, we're just getting started. And then hole 142, again, long widths of mineralization, right? 67.3 meters of 0.79 grams per ton gold, 41.6 grams per ton silver, and 0.66% copper, or 2.34 grams per ton gold equivalent. I know you have assays pending from Paloma West. I also know you're excited Mm -hmm. to drill Wankarama, which many people believe is the most prospective target. Um, And again, (laughs) uh, for perspective... For that to be the most prospective target, given the nature of these numbers, this is going to be tough to beat, Dave. Well, it is, and, and you never know what's going to happen in exploration, right? I mean, that's the one thing when when we drill, you know, we do everything we can to to increase our confidence and and prioritize our targets and stuff. But you never know, you know, what's going to happen. I mean, just look at Paloma East and Paloma West. You know, Paloma East, the surface expression was small, twenty five meter diameter. Very strong gold right at surface, very consistent, multi-gram gold right at surface on that outcrop. Whereas Paloma West was um, much lower grade in part because the breccia wasn't all that well exposed at surface. It was a lot of altered wall rock around it, slightly bigger footprint. So if I had made a prediction at that point, I would have said, well, uh, Paloma East is probably going to be a narrow high-grade pipe. And Paloma West is going to be a bigger low-grade pipe, and it was the exact opposite, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, we, we we take what we get, but um, and, and both have both have far exceeded our expectations. But um, yeah, we're very excited. We have started drilling on Juan Carama. The drill rigs moved over there, and I think we're on our fourth hole right now. And it's a big area, so it's going to take a lot of scout drilling. Uh, Paloma East and West were kind of much better defined targets because it was just two breccia outcrops to focus on, although we found a lot more breccia at depth once we started drilling. Whereas at Juan Carama, we have multiple breccias exposed at surface over a broad area. So we're going to be scout drilling there for a while. Super exciting uh, to be there finally, and I uh, can't wait to share those results with your with your readers. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Do you want to set the table on a timeline for those results, Dave? (laughs) I hate to put you on the spot. Yeah, I I really don't. um, You know, the, uh, you know, I mean, we we, we consistently, we have more results on Paloma West and obviously we need to work through those first and, and get our understanding of what's happening with Paloma. We're still logging the drill core and that type of thing. Uh, The turnaround has been good with the lab. They've done a great job for us. Um, The one thing that does slow down the lab is when you have high-grade results like this, they have to basically re-assay everything twice with different methods. So if your copper uh, content is over... is over 1%, they go to a copper assay method. If your gold is over 10 grams, they go to gravimetric. If your silver is over 200 grams, they go to a, a, a high-grade assay method for silver. So, you know, we saw in this first release that we're talking about today, you know, a lot of the samples had to be re- reassayed because of the high-grade nature, and that slows it down, but that's, you know, that's a great problem to have. A wise man once called it champagne problems, Dave. <laughs> champagne problems no thank you so much congrats again looking forward to the next set of results and uh keep it up keep it up (laughs) good work absolutely thank you gerardo appreciate it thank you